Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time we're going to play with something completely different. I scored a bunch of really wild lockers. And those are for implanting inside humans. So the idea is that they can lock something with heart rate, heart rhythm, uh, something like that. I am a little bit, um, <laughs> what do you say? I don't know exactly what I got, because I think that the big ones here, they could also be the ones that stimulates a heart, a failing heart, maybe. I don't know if they are any bigger or, or something like that. So they, they could be a pacemaker. Uh, we got one of the little cables and this is really really soft and fascinating just touching this actually feels like nothing you would I mean it is just really weird so it's a shielded cable and there's a little rubber I mean look at the way that this made in here and then clickety clack and then you got a shield and a signal in this plastic it's just really really amazing the way this is made click it even says here this is called cpa whatever that means and then there is a a and v sensor i should probably ask my nurse wife maybe she knows what that means in in heart monitoring and something like that it, uh, there's also a little logo here maybe this uh means something it looks a little bit like a person that is uh, falling so that is uh, also maybe a little lead we could of course also look up this um this name and number here and let's see if we can get anything out of this i also got some other ones when it's called reveal so this is obviously just a locker or a recorder of some sort it looks like there is a uh, sensor or a detector here of some sort or is this just how it communicates or there's maybe something you connect to this one it looks like this is titanium and it's welded um, together so uh, of course we need to to cut those open and if you know how to cut in titanium, I can tell you, this is not an easy task uh, because titanium is like really, really difficult to, uh, yeah, to, to cut open. And here's a tiny little implant sensor of some sort and it looks like there's a little, tiny little antenna up here in the end. Look at Look at the way this antenna here is. So this is probably for communicating through the skin somehow. I, I think it's really funny to um, yeah to look at these. But let's uh, let's uh, open and see what's inside, right? So the first little thing that I did was to try and cut this piece away, and you can probably see through this plastic uh, the wires. They go through. A little rubber gasket here, but this is actually a connector. So here's the mating part, and it just clicks in here somehow. That is the weirdest. They really tried to make this so, so smart. So now we are back to all this titanium stuff. Uh, probably this is a little bit of a epoxy or something like that. I'm a little bit afraid what type of battery we could have in here if it's lithium or is this going to explode up my face or something like that so um, I think we should definitely try and open this really really careful you can see here it's really really tough but again this is of course made with oh hey look at that sardine can opening style seems to be working here i did not expect that so this looks promising 
let's try let's try this oh so we just looked this up i actually just asked my wife to look it up and tell me exactly what it is because she 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 can understand what they're saying so this thing is a pacemaker and not only a pacemaker it's full of all sorts of locking a diagnose and diagnostics and all sorts of things so as I understand, a pacemaker is that this one will contain a battery and a high voltage uh, discharge circuit of some sort, right? So, <laughs> I mean, is this safe to touch? Uh, I don't know yet, but I'm still trying to get inside here. And this is some tough uh, titanium. I should probably get um, some protection. I don't know exactly what I'm getting myself into here, but... I really don't want to get hurt again. I think we are getting inside. <laughs> it is super, super fascinating. We got some really weird sensors going on up there. I can't really see what that is. But we will look a little bit deeper into that in a second. And here is the circuit board. A uh, thick film ceramic substrate. And there's obviously a microcontroller or a microchip of some sort right there. And um, what else have we got here? This, the pins right here. That is actually the connector like that. So I didn't break that little circuit board. I just broke the little gold bond wires. And then there is obviously this little connector here that is completely safe and tight and all that stuff. Again, on a little ceramic substrate. And with what I see, we got tons of capacitors, but it's all low voltage capacitors. And I believe the big thing we see here is a battery. Um, I will, of course, measure what is going on here. But there's also another little funny thing. Look up here. The idea with this one, the SJM and then the VV here, well, that's probably made for X-ray. So when you take a picture of a patient with this one in here, you definitely see this on the X-ray because it's made of matte metal. This is made to be seen. And then you know exactly what this is. See up here, that will be the back side of uh, the two funny sensors I found on the other side. And here is some sort of a coil. We can see the windings, the green windings. What is the idea? Let's try and get a little bit uh, closer. So here we go. Now we can see this little inductor. And big fat bond wires for the battery. Or is it a capacitor of some sort? But then where's the battery? There isn't anything else here, I guess. Maybe underneath the circuit board. Yeah, okay, let's look a little bit at these two sensors up here. What is the idea? Let's see if we can see something from the other side. I don't know what that is. But three funny parts. Yeah, I'll try and get this out. So this is the bottom side of this little ceramic. Can you see how insanely compact this is? And the, I think actually the, those are stacked, especially the one to the right. Look at that. I can, we can barely see in from the side. Yes, yes, yes. That is a stacked device of some sort. How do I get this into focus? 
Wow, what a crazy amount of engineering. And here is, of course, this uh, funny coil. I don't know exactly what that is doing. And that was a little x-ray indicator. And that will be this little sensor on the side. What exactly is this doing? I think. Oh, maybe this is a G-force full trip detector or something like that. I really don't know, but this it looks a little bit like that, doesn't it? Maybe if I take a little something and touch it a little bit, let's see. There's something here in the middle. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at that. Here we got something that got some mass. So if you tap it, you have a little... How cool is this? So here's a tap feedback, dip, 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 and then you can communicate with this thing. That is a that is a man machine interface. <laughs> and this is the battery. I don't know exactly what type of technology this is. Maybe this is 94. So back in 94, this was definitely the most advanced pacemaker and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know what kind of how many volts this was originally. And um, but there's 0.8 volts on it at the moment, so I don't think it is that dangerous or anything like that. But this is also titanium sealed, and there's even a glass uh, yeah, seal here at the negative. Beautiful little battery of some sort because I don't see any high voltage capacitors. I don't see any voltage steps up or anything like that. So how is this generating a um, yeah, a pulse to reset or wake up the heart? Because it says when we look this up, it should also be able to do that. And we only see low voltage capacitors. So um, maybe you don't need that many volts if you have a direct into the heart uh, connection, maybe the 215 volts, maybe those are in series, so you get uh, 30 volts. Maybe that is all you need, maybe. Ah, this is maybe what this uh, coil is doing. That is a part of this step up to 30 volts. Okay, now it makes uh, a lot more sense. So let's try and look into the small model here. And we got, of course, more of these. So what I've done so far, I just opened or cut away this plastic end and then I found myself in already I could just take and pull this just like a can of sardines and I think we are actually more or less oh, I really don't want to cut myself but there's also a big hefty battery in this one it is a little bit scary to work with these because this titanium is just razor sharp and it is really, really tough to cut and bend and handle. So here we got two thick wires coming out of it. And this looks like a normal circuit board. Battery is like that. Maybe I should try and measure the voltage on this one. Okay, it was only 0 0.6 volts. So obviously not a lot. But I see a lot of capacitors and some transistors and stuff like that. There's probably a lot more on the back. So how do we get this thing out? So I was uh, finally able to pull out the titanium here. And look at that, it's uh, fully potted, I think, here on the back. But we also got some components. This looks like, again, some sort of an inductor down there. I should, of course, try and see if I can somehow get in here without getting hurt. 
something like that. And it's really, really tough. See, this is a yeah, stone heart. No, not completely stone hearts. But it's a very, very, very tough epoxy. But, oh, see, now battery is gone. And I am fine. Oh, we have a big inductor going around here. So how is this working? So this is for generating the high voltage. Or can it be inductive charging? Because how is that going to work through titanium? I would definitely think that will never work at all. So that could not be the case, right? Unless I need to learn something about uh, pacemakers and how they are charged. Are they charged or are they just replaced? I don't know anything about that. But it looks a little bit uh, weird. This, we can see it's a many, many multi-layer circuit board. I think I was right. A huge coil. How is that even going to work? I don't know. I think I can also see some components down there. I just think it's all going to break anyway, but it's, it is of course broken. But Let's try and see if we can take this away and see what's in there. I was able to pull it off a little bit more, but then see it's full of silicon. So that's definitely full of ICs here on, at the bottom side. Well, well, I think that is what it is. So if this is a charger, that means this battery here is a rechargeable. So now I will go and uh, Google these things a little bit more and see if I can figure out anything. It was super easy to Google those uh, products. So um, this one is uh, an implantable cardiac monitor. And it is uh, to figure out when uh, people, they faint, what was the cause of their fainting. So I think this is uh, quite interesting to figure out uh, what this is actually doing. Still haven't figured out exactly about this uh, the inductor is it uh, for charging or whatever it is but this one is not a pacemaker uh, only a, a locker i was also able to look up this the tiny little locker and this one is uh, not for fainting but this is a uh, for heart rhythm uh, abnormalities and this one locks and store and can you communicate uh, through the skin and everything like that. And it's also in implantable, of course. And if you Google uh, a little bit about pacemakers, you will find exactly the model uh, I have uh, dissected in this uh, video. They all <laughs> look exactly like this. So there's a web page uh, where they explain how this one works and they even try to uh, uh, to publish a little picture of the internal parts but they this is just a fake little picture uh, because we now know exactly how it is looking inside and that is not exactly like this so it's just done <laughs> for for shows but they do say a little bit about the leads how they're connected uh, the pacemaker box how it is uh, put into uh, the upper chest and uh, they also say about the battery lifetime so here is a it's a little bit interesting it's about six to seven years so there's a plenty of uh, warning uh, when the battery runs out and uh, they will have a, a new one uh, put in Anyway, I think this is all I wanted to show in this video. So thank you very much for watching. Please come back soon. Bye-bye.